Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. It's nice to see you again. We're on another trip, because that's what we do apparently. The stories go on trips. But really, we're, we're trying to get them all in uh, for, for reasons. Reasons that maybe we'll, we'll share at some later time. But for right now, we're on a trip. We are in upstate New York. This is a place called Lake George. And it's pretty nice, nice-ish day actually. The clouds just rolled in, so it doesn't seem as nice as it was, but it's it should be a nice day today. And we're staying at a house in sort of up a hill, up a mountain, um, at the top of, it's actually called Top of the Mountain House. And today we are, we're here by ourselves. We're gonna do some stuff in town, which we'll show you. And then later tonight, my mom and sister are gonna join us. Anyway, we're here, we're on a little trip. And one of the reasons why people come up here in October, like we are here in October, you'll see this later, um, is because they like to see the leaves change colors on the trees. So even just in front of us right now, where I'm parked, we have these lovely, these lovely, oh, let me get the easy pass out of the way, these lovely trees that are all sorts of colors, red and yellow and green still. That's kind of like my favorite combination, some orange because you see like there's still some green there um it's not completely fallen yet um there's still some time left before winter because all this for us living in the northeast of the united states all this uh looking at the leaves and stuff is is sort of us keeping track of time and the seasons something you may not do so much in Kenya or maybe in other parts of the world, even other parts of the United States. But here in the Northeast, it's, it's sort of become a thing that we do. Well, this tree here is almost completely yellow and some of the leaves have even fallen off already. So you see the trees are in different states of being, um, what you call it? Being folly, being fall-like, falling. Autumnally. 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 Let me tell you, the birds of New York, they're something else. They're very disrespectful. Yes. Alright. So we've gotten out, we're walking around, and there's this lake back here. We're in the Nyanza region of upstate New York. Wow. Do you want to walk out on the... It's this party. Oh, never mind then. There's somebody doing some binocularing over there. I wonder what they're looking for. Yeah. about the weather. Did you see about all these? Yeah, I've recorded. I did like a whole. And I think around. this thing over here is Fort Henry or Fort William Henry, mm -hmm. William John, Stephen, Joseph. Look, there's a drone. Maybe Ooh. that's what the guy was binocularing. Uh, okay. We're gonna see it. Yes. Yeah, I don't know if he is actually, but there's a, there's definitely a drone up there. Right, let's go somewhere else. Okay. When you're right on the water, it's chilly because the there's nothing to block the wind. So, it's a I didn't check to see what the temperature is in Celsius today, but it's probably maybe right around 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So, is actually grilled fish? The Where? fried fish. Like in Lake Victoria. Oh, you, you think Lake George is like Lake Victoria? It should be. Yeah. Lake George, there's a King George, there's a Queen Victoria. 
well, I think Lake Victoria is several times larger than Lake George for one. For two, Lake Victoria is right on the equator and we are decidedly not on the equator here. And for three, I don't think there's any tilapia in this lake. What's the point of having a lake? What's the point? Huh? Surely. <laughs> See as my wife struggles to get her jacket on. Do you need a hand? My, my fingers are frozen. <laughs> so frozen. It's not even winter, this is fall. And you were saying that you would consider moving to Montreal, remember? <laughs> I actually think you may have done it wrong here. Let me do it. This is Kevin. It's still recording. Showing how to zip a jacket because clearly I don't know how to do it. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, honey. Thanks, honey. Don't, don't say I never did nothing for you. <laughs> Jeez. I was saying I think this may be a town that struggles a little bit in terms of identity because it is a it's a tourist town especially in the summer a lot of people come to vacation but I think the the regular residents of this town are split because on the one hand you have these sort of artsy folks who are here doing artsy things and you know there's a school and there's teachers and there's um, you know, whatever all else is going on. But then I think you have an element of this town that's very uh, rural, very, they're mountain people, they're conservatives, they're, you know, whatever. And as you can see, there's one of these stores over here that's uh, very much, they have a lot of sort of conservative paraphernalia. I mean, they're hanging these altered American flags outside their shop. I mean, to me, to me in my mind, which way do you want to go? This way? Okay. To me in my mind, um, you hang a flags like that outside your shop, you're, you're sort of telling people that you're anti-American in a way. Because um, it sends a message that you're, you're for some people, but not for other people. And I don't think that's right personally. But I have a feeling that that's a that's a, probably a raging debate in a, a town like this. It's it's not all one thing. It's not all another thing. It's it's a mix. Oh look, it's a bear. <laughs> a bear. I think my bear. <laughs> yes. There's a little cafe here. Very cute. Oh, it is closed. That's funny because the light on there. I I assumed it was open. So the trouble is we've come we've come kind of at the end of the season. And so a lot of shops, a lot of restaurants, they're actually closed now. Um, they're closed for the winter. What? Cute little library. Yeah, it's a little library. It's open actually. Yeah, it's like everything's closed. This breakfast spot closed. We just tried to go to this bakery here. And they have a they have a sign on their window that says we are now closed on Wednesdays. Today is a Wednesday. So although it looks like they're expanding or they have expanded, which is nice. Good. Always good to see businesses thriving. I guess maybe we just, we're too late. We've come too late in the season. This is a tea. Chai tea. <laughs> chai tea latte with milk. Masala chai tea latte with milk. Yeah, passes the test. Nice. And you had coffee for people who like coffee strong. It's good. All right, it's time to go. Where to next? I'm gonna do it now. Oh, you're gonna try to. Let's see if she can do it. Yes. Ah, look at that. Professional. Oh, I think I'll have a Hey, thanks. Hold town to yourself. Yeah, right? <laughs> the village mall. It's 
it's like a series of of houses. I don't. They're not real though. It's interesting. Sweet shop. Is there an Indian place? In here? Oh. Well, let's take a look. Yeah, all this seems like it's very quiet. Well, shall we see? Oh. Well, the taste of India is closed. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear Grace go, eh, eh, after that <laughs> horn went? <laughs> oh, it always tickles me a little bit. Yeah, all these, this is also a place that's closed. It seems like this one up here might be open. But I don't know. The sign says... We can at least take a look, because otherwise there's nothing else. Literally yeah. Which one? The Christie's? This one. No, that's not open. This this one we walked by upstairs. I mean, obviously they're not seating people outside today. Do you want to sit next to that duck? Inside. We were a little, I don't know, just nothing seems very inviting at this point. And I know it's our fault because we've come at a weird time. But even, I don't know, was I recording? Oh, I was when that motorcyclist was like, You have the whole town to yourself. Yeah. Although there are people here, look, there's tourists across the street. These aren't normal people who just are living their lives here. It's just that all these places are not really open. And I don't think we want pizza. We just had pasta for dinner last night, so. Anyway, I guess we'll, maybe we'll just make our way back and uh, pick something at home at the B&B. Maybe we'll go food shopping at this grocery store. All right, check it out. Ended up at a Charlie's. Maybe I'll have this um, spinach artichoke dip. You know, gotta show the food. Spinach dip. Is it tasty? Did you burn your mouth? Slapping. So Grace just says, I don't, I, what would you say you'd be miserable if you lived oh here? God, if I lived in this place, I would die. Cut off there the oh the battery on the GoPro ran out but I'm back at the Airbnb we're staying at here in Lake George and it really is beautiful you know you can really see it's a little windy now hopefully you can hear me but it does seem to be kind of a dead place and as Grace was saying she wouldn't feel very happy living here in a lot of places that we've gone, and we've joked about it, Grace is always like, oh, can we live here? Can we live here? Uh, she's not saying that about Lake George. So it is a lovely place. And you can see I'm bundled up 
it's a little chilly the winds here but I just I just need to get a a, a look at this view again because it's just so it's just so nice this is I know there's a fence here but um, we're basically like right on a, a mountainside here but oh my gosh just amazing we're about two two to three hours away from sunset and it's just gorgeous just gorgeous well thanks for watching if you like this video and you want to see more be sure to to like subscribe share this video with all your friends and until next time kwaheri